Hi, in this video I'm going to rebuild the wheel that I, I built on my e-bike because some of the spokes got loose and I know I haven't done it right because I haven't used the right uh, the right length for the spokes so I've, I've ordered some spokes they are 155 millimeters long I have the nipples as well and I will use this double ring not like the old one which also has 36 spokes but first I'll have to loosen the, the nipples a little bit Okay, so now that I removed the spokes from the wheel, I will clean it and then I will remove the spokes from this wheel. And this one is not tensioned anymore, it's loose. A few more anyways oh so this is how my e-bike looks now I haven't made um, a frame for the controller and the batteries because I don't have a proper battery now, I'm using two hoverboard batteries in parallel and now uh, I've burned the controller, I think uh, I'll have a look at it and I'll make an episode as well so stay tuned if you would like to see that the paint started to strip not everywhere but there are a few places I've changed the handlebars as well and the stem I like the way it looks now yeah so now I will uh, remove this wheel from the bike and I remove the, the tire and the tube then the spokes I'll clean the motor a bit and then I will put it on this ring so now that I removed the wheel I need to take the air out, which I already did, then remove the tire and the tube, then the spokes. But I remember I had lots of troubles trying to put this tire on, so I'll have troubles trying to remove it as well. I'm thinking because well, I don't know if you can see, but it's already cut here, so it doesn't work saving it because I will throw it anyways I will try to cut the, the wire here 
then it will be easier to move it if you do this you have to be careful because this one can hit you so I'll do the same the same thing on the other side okay because I don't care about these pokes anyway I will throw them I will just cut them to make my job easier This is how the rim looks like after I've applied some degreaser and then I did some wet sanding. Now it's time to clean the motor. So I will use a single cross pattern and if you can see here some of the holes are offset and I will use the lower offset holes for the lower flange spokes and the upper offset holes for the upper flange spokes and one more thing on the valve the spokes that will come on the valve won't be from the same pair so one will be from a pair and one from another one. Here I have the nipples in some engine oil and the motor is on a stand so it, it's easier for me to, to do the lacing. So if I try to put one spoke it won't go in. But this is because my spokes are too thick. Let's measure. So the spoke is 3.2 but on the thread is 3.6 and let's measure the hole and the hole is 3.2 so I will I will get a, a drill and I will make the, the holes bigger. So the nipples are bigger too. It's six millimeters. And the ring spoke hole is Oh. 
4.2 millimeters. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's definitely 4.2. So I'm gonna use a six millimeter drill bit. And I'll make the holes bigger. Hopefully I won't break the rim and this won't affect the rim too much. Unfortunately, I've made a mistake and I first put the outbound spokes. Now it's difficult to put the inbound spokes. So I have to remove everything and start and start over again. Okay, so now that I took the spokes out I also made a fillet on the spoke holes to the left and to the right uh, because I saw that the, the nipple is too, too tight in there so um, I wanted to be able to, to turn a little to the left or to the right so now I'll just I will look for the valve hole and use the lower offset spoke holes which will be on the left side in this case and put the first spoke so I need to to do it from to put it from the outside to avoid what happened earlier Leave one space free for the other spoke that will come in the opposite direction. And count four holes. And put the put the nipple as well. Okay, so I have just one more spoke from this set. The 
the second set will be the outbound uh, set for the lower flange. So the spokes that I'm using 10 gauge size so they are quite big that's why I needed to make these holes bigger and make the spoke holes on the rim also bigger and do the fillet as well on the holes so they are motorcycle spokes But hopefully I won't have any issues with the ring. I saw some some people are trying to, to put the, the nipple on, on another spoke and then thread it to the spoke they need. I don't know why it just doesn't work that that's fine. At least not for me. I'm at the third set now, but unfortunately the camera wasn't recording. So another thing I want to mention is uh, it's better if you even if you do like me to the spokes from the same flange first, but put the inbound spokes from the other flange as well inside because now it's difficult and I don't want to undo all the spokes or the outbound spokes from the from this flange to do the inbound on this one so I will just do them one by one I know it's a lot of back and forth but that's all I can do at this stage so I need to say I need to undo this spoke, then pass this one to, to this side, and then put that this spoke back in, put the nipple, and then put the nipple on this spoke as well. So it's a lot of back and forth. But as I said, that everything I can do at this stage. this one put this one back in put the nipple it really works this method with the spoke try the one to the nipple on the other end then put this spoke here, put the nipple. 
So I'm at the fourth and last set. Finally, I can start wherever I want. So guys, this is the final step, which is the wheel throwing. So this is the first time I'm doing it, and I don't have that much knowledge. I wish I had. So bear with me. So some some of the spokes are thin, are loose, and what I will try, what I will do is. I will tension them all to to have pretty much the same tension. So now that um, I tensioned the spokes, so none of them is loose anymore, I will, I will put a, a cable tie right, right here and I will cut it to, to length to see if the, if the rim is getting far or close to the cable tie end and as i said guys i don't want you to consider that this is a how to throw a wheel video this is just the the way i did and there are plenty of videos on youtube showing how to do it but you know, I'm not that kind of person that just takes it for granted. I like to to try myself, and I mean this is the this is a better way to learn. If you try it yourself and you see what are you doing wrong and how to do it properly. And by the way, this is not my idea. I saw Mike from e-bike school doing this. I'll just cut a little more. So as you can see the the wheel really needs throwing. So 
Okay, so what I will do next, I will see where the rim is at the most distant point. Is somewhere here. Now again. Now I will check for the closest point. This is the closest point near the valve and I will pull the rim the other way so I need to tighten the the spokes from the from the other flange Okay, so I think this is enough. Now I will just move the cable tie to see if the wheel hops. So if you can see, now the rim is touching the cable tie. But now it's like two millimeters away from it. So there is a point here So I'll make a mark here. And I will see if in the opposite side is the same. So now I'm with a mark at 180 degrees. So the distance is normal here is not touching like when i when i put it with a mark so this means only the spokes around the mark needs to be tightened hopefully looking for the most distant point which is somewhere here and I will try to loosen some spokes around it okay Let's check again. I will move the cable tie closer. At this position, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but is touching so I need to tighten the spokes a little bit
okay I, I'm happy with this so far um, now I, I will try again here because I think I ruined my drawing the rim is far from the cable tie so I will pull it this way now I will look again for the closest point which is somewhere here and will tighten from the opposite side a few spokes back and, and forth you don't have to tighten just on the position of this spoke if it's here so you have to tighten like a few spokes around it from this side or from the other side depends on the case This is the result after I've repeated the procedure done on the cassette side to the opposite side. I don't know about you but I'm quite happy with the result considering that this is the first time and the rim has suffered enough to get to this stage <laughs> finally this video came to an end I want to say thank you for watching and if you like this video or if you like my content subscribe to my channel if you're not if you need any help, you can go to my Facebook page, which is eBike Doctor. I'll put a link in the description as well. Give it a like and you can contact me there. Also, let me know what you think in the comments section. And I will appreciate if you give me any feedback because this will keep me motivated to upload a new video often. So once again, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.